Hey everyone and welcome back to another Auto Alpha video. Today we're going to do a last to first challenge around Austria on F122, my first proper F122 video you could say. Um, we're doing it in Ferrari Carlos Science, these are assists I'm using. Uh, we're going to do a 25% race and uh, dynamic weather, so could rain, might not rain, who knows, we'll see. These are the settings I'm running, uh, rules and flags. Um, increased safety car because safety cars don't really appear that much. Um, so uh, that, those are the settings and then simulation. I'm going to be running 108 AI because that's where my skill level is at and the rest of the settings are not important so let's head into it. Welcome along then to race day at what we hope will be another thrilling Formula One Grand Prix. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven to the right and three to the left, making up the total distance of 2.6 miles. And expect to see a lot of cars running wide today, especially through the last corner, as the wet conditions make the cars skittish through the downhill sections. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Russell, Ocon, Bottas, Sonoda, and Pierre Gasly, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, and Joe, Norris, Stroll, Alex Albon, and Daniel Ricciardo. Latifi and Carlos Sainz will start from the back of the grid. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Well, it's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Right, as you can see, it is raining. Um, so we're going to be starting on the intermediate tyres. But it looks like it's going to dry off soon. Um, no idea how much fuel to put in, but I'll just put 0.7 of that of a lap extra in. Should be enough. Um, and uh, onto the formation lap. The reason why I've left this on is because, as I'm sure you know, there is this new feature where at the end of the formation lap, you, um, as you're about to see, uh, you have to line up on the grid yourself which um, it's going to be interesting because, say for example in F1 Esports, if somebody lines up like I did, they're going to be set back uh, quite a bit further than what you'd ideally want to be. As you can see, five red lights and away we go. Um, and it looks like a pretty decent start um, compared to Latifi. We're already going to make uh, quite a few positions before we reach even turn one. Um, having to cut the inside kerb to give the others space, that compromises our exit, of course. Um, and now we're side by side with Lando Norris in the car and down towards turn three. Tucking, tucking into the slip stream with Lance Stroll, we're going to send it up the inside um, and take 14th place. Although, not got the greatest exit compared to Sebastian Vettel. We're now side by side with Aston Martin going down to turn four, but we are going to take that position, um, lays on the brakes, although as I say that, he's still side by side, still right with us as we head into this left-hander, we're going to break just that bit later and take 14th place off the Aston Martin, so pretty decent progress at the end of the first lap, um, as I run a little bit wide for some reason, and so yeah, as I said, um, 
14th from 20th at the start, which is pretty good. Um, now we're going to send it up the inside of Joe Guanyu. Big lock up as we try to avoid running into the um, running into the house of uh, Mick Schumacher. And up into 13th place we go. As I notice, there's, there's actually some sticky tape on our rear wing, uh, a bit like. <laughs> Feel like what happened to Sonoda and Azerbaijan. But anyway, as you can see, as we go on to lap three, DRS is enabled, which is interesting because in the past F1 games, um, and I'm sure you guys know, when DRS is enabled, it usually means that it's time for it's dry enough for slick tyres basically. So as you can see there, I'm trying to select the, uh, the mediums, which is the tyre I want to go into, as we make a move up the inside of Schumacher at turn three. Um, and you can see there, we've got the DRS from Magnussen and we are going to select the medium tyres Telling the engineer that I'm going to box this lap and um, go on to a set of slicks which, you know, it doesn't, it definitely looks way too wet for slicks but there was this thing in F1 2021 where it would look wet but it would actually be kind of dry so I'm assuming the same thing would happen here, so that's why I'm asking uh, my engineer's box. I'm going to take that inside line, of course, into the pit lane. And uh, come in for a set of medium tyres, hopefully to the end of this race. Nobody else has pitted, and we're the only one into the pit lane. As I nearly speed in the pit lane. And also another new feature, you have to turn in to the pits yourself, which I managed to do pretty well. As you can see, turn in optimal. The better you do it, the more, um, the shorter the pit stop time, basically. So, 2.2 seconds, a nice pit stop that for us. Stop. No more um, but as you can see, go. coming out of the pits, we've got no traction, almost um, crashing at the end of the pit lane. Um, but yeah, somehow we've got the RS. Um, you know, I'm not complaining. Um, but also, you can see here, out of the pits, the tyres are stone cold. And this is because of the... Uh, I'm not sure, I think it's like a new tyre blanket regulation where the tyres can't be kept at higher than 75 degrees or something like that. So you can see we've got a bit of warm up to do, but we're not losing temperature. You can see the rear tyres are already pretty much where they should be in terms of the optimum temperature window, but the fronts need a bit of warming up. We're not losing any temperature, which is encouraging to see, but you can see on the minimap on the left, people are starting to pit. So it is definitely time for dry tyres, but maybe maybe, maybe I've gone a bit too early for those mediums. As you can see, we're not the only one uh, onto that compound of tyre. Staffan, Hamilton, Vettel, uh, Schumacher and Haas, um, a few others as well, have fitted for that same compound of tyre. So we've made the right choice, but have we gone too early? You can see here, uh, we were... Uh, we were definitely ahead of Vettel by quite a bit, but we, it seems like we've lost a good time. He's only four tenths behind us, but he'll have the same issue where he'll have to um, warm up the, those tyres. And you can see Schumacher six seconds behind us, so we've gained time to him. Um, but actually, I'm not sure if AI simulates tyre temperatures because in the past they didn't. Um, and it doesn't look like they are doing that here because Vettel is, is keeping now. up with us. But as you can see, Leclerc is now fitting for um, a set of slicks as well. Um, and quite a few people also doing the same thing in the minimap you can see in the left. And well, it's going to be interesting to see where they're going to come out because have we gained time? Have we lost it? I mean, we're only two and a bit seconds behind Verstappen and Hamilton so maybe it was the right call we've set the fastest lap of the race as you can see so it's definitely time for slicks and we are behind Magnussen by about 1.2 seconds so we've lost time to, to the Haas right there but we've gained perhaps um, in other compared to other drivers so that's good as we set another faster track of race on lap 7. Uh, we, get a, we get a better run out of turn 1 than Magnussen. We're going to make a move down this straight with DRS. Should be pretty easy as we head into turn 3. 
Uh, break a bit deep, but we're going to have the momentum round the outside. Get better traction, then the Haas, and up into P11 we go. Next up, Lewis Hamilton, who's stuck behind Pierre Gasly. So that can help us as we uh, run very wide turn four, but it's all good. Uh, as we can see, as you can see, we're heading onto lap nine. Um, somebody's stolen the fastest lap from us, but that doesn't matter. You can see Gasly and Verstappen battling it out, and we're going to take this opportunity to stick our nose up the inside of Hamilton. We sort of get stuck behind the Red Bull. We're going to send it down the inside of turn three, uh, having to change down to first gear. We kind of get stuck on the Red Bull. Um, put a warning for colliding, but. We are up into ninth place, and can we make the move on Max Verstappen? We're going to certainly give it a go around the outside of turn four, as um, we have a little spin. I'm going to take a cheeky flashback there. Let's try again around the outside. Can we do it? No, still a bit too far back. So uh, we have to wait behind the Red Bull another lap. But as you can see, we're now down that straight towards turn three. Um, on lap 10, we're going to go round the outside, um, purposely stuck behind, so then I can get the DRS on this straight. Um, but yeah, up into P8 we go, and you can see up ahead, uh, a bit of a train forming, um, ending with Yuki Tsunoda. We're going to try and chase down the Alpha Tauri. Um, there are two cars going side by side as well, but that's going to cost some time. Perez and Ocon in the penultimate corner going side by side we're going to go for an opportunistic move in the final corner a bit of contact and we also get Ocon on the exit so um, may not have been the cleanest of moves but we got him anyway um, you can see we're getting past the red bull of Sergio Perez there as well um, getting DRS as well because we were behind the red bull at the detection point and next up to chase down are the uh, well, oh, uh, sorry, Bottas and Alonso. My mind decided not to work there. But uh, as you see here, we it did take us the whole race to try and chase them down. But I have no pace to, compared to the Alpine, um, who is dragging the Alfa Romeo along. But here you can see we've got the DRS and got about 50% battery at the beginning of the straight. We're going to dump it. As we head into turn three, we're going to go for a send into the hairpin. Down the inside, we give him just about enough room, and we are up into fourth place. But it looks like there are no more overtaking opportunities to get past Alpine of Alonso. And you can see that Leclerc takes the fastest lap and wins the Austrian Grand Prix. Russell in the Mercedes takes second. Alonso is going to be on the podium. We are going to come home in fourth from last place on the grid. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So as you can see, Leclerc wins, Russell will second in the Mercedes. Alonso takes third place on the podium for Alpine and well for my first last to first challenge on F1 22 I'll take fourth place of course uh, you may have seen that I've done the last to first challenge before um, on F1 2020 I think it was um, can't actually remember what, uh, which one it was but uh, I'll insert a link in the top right so then you can watch that anyway no idea what happened in that 
don't think I managed to win that. So, yeah, I'm still yet to complete a last to first challenge. Um, but there you go. I'll still take fourth place. Need, still need to work on my pace on this game um, because this was 108 AI um, where I'd usually be racing on 110 actually. But, you know, it's a new game. Still um, some adapting to do in terms of my driving on this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And also make sure to um, check out my socials in the description below. And I'm going to leave you guys with the highlights or the game generated highlights um, to watch to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.